Along the southern edge of the Sahara lies the Sahel, a belt of dry grassland stretching from Senegal to Sudan. In 2007, the African Union adopted the Great Green Wall Initiative. Essentially, it's a unified effort to restore 100 million hectares of degraded land by 2030, store 250 million tonnes of carbon, and create 10 million jobs. It's not a literal wall of trees, it's more a mosaic of thousands of local projects spreading like green islands across 22 countries. In Burkina Faso and Mali, Zai pits trap rainwater and compost turning dust into fertile soil. In Ethiopia and Senegal, farmers plant crops among trees to cool and rebuild the soil. So the question is, is it working? Well, yeah. As things stand, over 20 million hectares have been restored, which is below the pace needed to reach the 2030 target. However, an accelerator program was launched in 2021 to put them back on track. These sort of restorative projects are exactly what my friends at Planet Wild helped to accelerate, and in fact, one of their projects contributed to the Great Green Wall in Senegal. This segment is taken from their video report, Inside the Food Forest Revolution, and it shows exactly how they contributed to that. Here in Senegal, it all starts by planting a variety of dense and fast-growing pioneer trees around a plot of land to create protection from wind, sun and storms for other plants to follow. This is called a living fence. Next, you place nitrogen-fixing trees at specific distances to make the soil fertile. Then you add fruit and nut trees as well as vines and shrubs that all together create a cover of shade for the remaining topsoil. These papaya trees are only two years old and already five to six meters high. That is the power of the tropical sun. They now create a beautiful tree cover to create shade for other crops that can be planted underneath them. As is evident with the Sahara, nature moves in cycles and it will be green again but we still need restorative efforts like the ones from Planet Wild to help struggling communities and ecosystems to thrive who don't have thousands of years to wait. If you've enjoyed this video, I know for a fact you'll enjoy one of these two videos from Planet Wild, showing some of their other projects like the one in Senegal.